So I wanted to talk about how I use VimWiki, uh, Vim itself, and GitHub pages to write my notes. I think it's a pretty um, interesting workflow. So I wanted to share you guys. I wanted to share with you guys to see if you guys can get inspired with it or do something similar. So as I said, I use VimWiki. It's a very nice plugin for Vim that allows you to write basically your personal uh, wiki for Vim. Uh, what I mean by this, it has like uh, links you can go to, you can click on using um, a really simple syntax that it, it make. Um, I would like to say that it also has markdown, but there's a specific reason why I use the Vim wiki um, syntax it comes included with. I'm not going to go in depth with it because I feel like there's um, the documentation talks about how to um, write the syntax, but I will show you a bit and how I actually use um, it to, you know, write my notes. So I'm going to turn on screen keys. And the first thing you want to know about VimWiki is that, um, you know, if you press leader WW, it goes to your default uh, VimWiki directory. Um, yeah. So um, the f if you're using default VimWiki, you can press enter and it'll follow the link um, to the file you linked it to. Uh, basically, um, so if you do like hello, and then you do um, your enter, it would create a new link to a file called hello.binwiki in your relative directory. I would like to say that I, I changed it a bit um, because I just found it these mappings better. So to create a link, I do leader www, and once I do leader www. Uh, it creates a link, and if I do leader www again, um, I have that link now, and it, it creates an empty buffer with hello dot wiki at its name. And basically, uh, I write my notes like this. So um, I have like, you know, you can write any notes you have. Uh, this is just an example, of course, but if you follow the uh, documentation of in wiki, you can use a syntax to follow along. So you do, um, for example, a basic thing you might want to do is create a header for your um, class or for your file to organize your notes. And the way you do this by doing um, three like uh, different levels of uh, equation, uh, the equation character, or the equal square character, basically. So um, once you do this, you can do like college and you can um, create headers. You can also create, um, you know, anything you would expect from um, a notes uh, um, plugin. You know, you can create like numbers, like one, two. I don't know why you would do this, but you can do it. Um, and then you can also, you know, asterisks. And of course, you can also link back to um, the you can manually create the links and you can link back to your um, whatever thing, whatever uh, file you want to link to. And the way this works is basically the way it works together is that you can have like a really nice note taking experience using this. And again, once I do leader WW, uh, leader LL, I go back and I do leader LL, I can I go back. Um, yeah, so that's one of the things I would like to talk about. That's just basic uh, VimWiki knowledge you want to do. I did, you can create your uh, separate, or you can change the directory of your VimWiki um, by putting it, putting it like this. I've also changed uh, several things. I changed um, going to the next link and going to the previous link, and in addition with, um, Ta uh, table mappings. The reason I did this is because, as you can see, I had some completion. Um, so if I wrote like home, I had some completion, and this comes from another plugin, which might be an overkill to some people, and I can totally understand that. Uh, it comes from Conquer Completion, not Vim, and I used it together with uh, one of the sources uh, you can uh, also install additionally called um, CLC Word, which uh, takes words from the top 1,000 or 10,000 um, English searches basically and 
it it easily like if I'm ever confused about how to uh, type a word or like if I know how to like semi type like spell out a word I can just um, easily search if the words here and that's in, um, a powerful thing to do in combination with um, my setup. Uh, one other thing I like to talk about is, you know, I also have set spell, like a keybind to set spell. So if I ever, uh, you know, spell college, um, something like that, I can just do set spell, which I already did. And then I also have uh, another mapping set to uh, automatically fix the nearest spell error. So I do um, leader C and it automatically fixes it. If you want to take a look about uh, look at that, that is this key, uh, key mine right here. And of course, this to set my spell. I I'm a, I use English dictionary because of course, I'm American. And that is one of the things that, that's the initial setup. One of the things that I like particularly enjoy using VimWiki for is it is addition to actually have it um, convert everything to HTML. So if we go back here, right, one of the features that it says is that it exports everything to HTML. And it does. Uh, I do want to give a warning, a quick warning for it, because it only um, does it for it's the VimWiki syntax it comes included with. Uh, you can also like for example I, I think I didn't, I didn't think I mentioned this before but you can also change the syntax to do uh, markdown but the reason why I have it in the Vim wiki uh, markdown that it comes included with is because it allow it the Vim wiki markdown can um, easily be parsed by its included HTML parser uh, convert uh, HTML converter and the way it works, or the way I use it, is basically um, using this command called vimwiki to all to HTML. And once you run this command, it converts all your um, it converts all your uh, wiki files, or yeah, files end that with dot wiki, and convert it to HTML. And as you can see here, it gets exported to a directory called vimwiki uh, underscore HTML, and if you go there, you can see that it has created all the files um, that you expect. That you that you expect in my um dot vim wiki uh, directory. So this these are all um, dot wiki. But now that I've uh, ran that command. These are all now HTML, as you can see. Index.html corresponds to index.wiki. And the awesome thing about this is that um, is that you can basically uh, link it up to with GitHub, and a free thing it does. So I have it link it up. Uh, I, well, I have this repo uh, match my my um, GitHub account um, repository called Notes. And every time I um, and the way I use this environment is basically I um, write my notes in dot wiki. I convert everything to HTML, and once I convert each, everything to HTML, I use uh, one of the GitHub features that co um, that comes included called GitHub Pages, and I uh, easily allow myself to host all my notes um, in my personal account. One of the things I did to make this like more personal for me is I bought my own domain and I host my website at this domain um, so I want to show you that it, it works right now so so as you can see currently it doesn't have um, this basic link because I haven't updated as you can see there's some commits that have to be made and so I um I basically just at all and then commit my new notes I do commit I do add all uh, relative directory because I know what's included in this and I know it's not dangerous so just in case someone wants to like I don't know bash me for that so once I push this um, it will link it directly oh well it will update my um, repository here and since this is linked directly to my github pages it will update of course uh, 
considering how GitHub pa uh, Pages works, it's not going to automatically, um, it's not going to automatically um, change. So if we refresh, it's not going to change automatically. But if you do wait a bit, it will. And I don't want to take that long, but I'm going to cut this to when it actually changes. So you guys can actually see that it works. But it does take a, a, a bit of time. But once it does work, um, you'd be surprised. You'd be like, hey, it works. Um, uh, one thing that I would like to say is that it only works with static pages. Uh, this is important because I, I feel like some people might want to use, like, um, I don't know, like chat logs or something. Or have an uh, update on real time. And that's not how it works with GitHub pages. But considering that all my notes are just notes um, for myself, it should be fine for it to be static. So, I see, oh, there we go. So it finally changed. And you can see here that I have this hello link and it matches directly to my um, website. So once I click hello, and if I click hello here, you can see that everything worked fine. And if I click home, it takes me back. Um, this is how it works, and this is how I use my setup. I'm I'm hope you guys can use some of this inspiration for yourself. And thank you for watching.